N4H and H here. I uh, want to show you a little bit about how to check your uh, reference oscillator against WWV. This is the FTDX 5000. You can do a similar thing with other rigs. Um, if you're, uh, you know, you always want to make sure you had a warm up period before you do go adjust your reference oscillator. With the FTDX 5000, uh, what I what I'll do here is you see I've got 15 megahertz uh, about middle of the amateur band uh, and where WWV transmits you know you could also get them at two and a half five ten fifteen twenty but uh, there's this this is about the center of the HF band if you consider uh, you know 1.8 through 30 of course so uh, or 29.7 to be exact on the high end. So what you do is I'm going to turn the frequency, if you look in the display, uh, right over here in the bottom right where you see U51, as I turn, you'll see the frequency of my side tone drops, and I'm going to go all the way down to the minimum, 300. Now let me turn the volume up a little bit. So now the way I... I did the frequency, you know, most rigs have an inner key. You can just punch and then punch in the digits for the frequency you want. Okay, now, um, I've got I've got the rig uh, through one of the menus. I've got it set to where I can uh, vary the CW by um, the one hertz. So watch this. Uh, now, you hear the swimming, the, the beat there. I'm pressing the spot button, see, to force my side tone to turn on. Now, I can't do this without a third hand, so I'm gonna move it to zero, zero. Press the spot button. No beat. Now I'll move it to zero, one. So this radio is dead on WWV. Now, the FTDX 5000 has a menu. Let me show you where it is. Um, see if CW Find is enabled. I'm gonna go to menu, let's see, back this way, 46, frequency adjust. Um, on other rigs I've owned, you have to you know, open the case to get to the uh, reference oscillator adjustment, but it's, uh, there's a way to get at it through the menu on the FTDX 5000 and you'll see currently I do have a, a slight correction in there of minus one minus one so if I were to move that then uh, you know probably be well let's watch I'm gonna go to zero still pretty close there it went cycled once You can tell that it's on there because the two tones are combining and making it a little louder. Anyway, that's a, that's a way that you can check your uh, reference oscillator against WWV. Um, in this particular case, the FTDX 5000, but it can be done on other rigs as well. The key is to be able to get to the finest increments of adjusting the VFO to check it and also to turn your side tone down to, in, in this case here, 300, the lowest setting. All right. Hope that helps uh, any of you guys who might be interested in uh, checking how close you are. Obviously, the ear is not going to hear even a few hertz off one way or the other, but uh, this has an oven-controlled uh, oscillator that's accurate to 0.05 parts per million, so um, it stands the reason that it should stay pretty, uh, pretty tight. All right, thanks a lot for listening in for H&H &H Clear.